Okay, so I just walked out the front door and it is a pure sheet of ice. The entire driveway is a sheet of ice. So this is definitely something that we have to deal with. I mean, really a sheet of ice. I don't know if you could see the reflection of the ice. So I'm borrowing my mom's crampons. She leaves them on a pair of quick, easy slip-on like duck shoes. Really easy to just take off and put on right while you're in the car. So I'm gonna take those off and I'm gonna put those on. And then when I come back home, I'll switch out again so I can walk from the car into the house. give these a try today. Yak Track Pro, winter traction for all you do. Low profile ice and snow traction, durable rubber construction, removable performance strap. That's this strap that goes across here. I've tried ones without that strap and they fell off all the time. So you definitely want to make sure you get that extra strap to hold them on. Yesterday our little stream was frozen. I'm going to try them on that and see how they do. So I'm going to hike in and I'll uh, show you. It looks super slippery to me. Super slippery. I'm not even gonna try to walk on it without them. I wouldn't. That would just be dangerous. Yeah, that's good. That feels nice. That feels nice and snug. This is a medium, so it fits a size ladies eight and a half boot perfectly and I don't feel like that's gonna fall off like the ones that mom had so there's definitely a front a back a left and a right low pro profile snow and ice traction so one quarter millimeter steel coils heel tab secure fit removable performance strap and I suggest not taking that off and high strength natural rubber so let's go yep. now I don't have anything to hold on to I really wish I did I'll hold you though just don't move This is really slippery ice. Yeah, it is. So this isn't, really isn't good for for slippery, slippery ice. Honestly, feel it. I'll bet you could walk on it, though. I can. I definitely can. It's not ideal. It's still slippery. I mean, it doesn't get slipperier than this kind of ice. Most of the times, it's not like this. All right, so... But come back and walk towards me this way. I can definitely walk on this. If I try to, I can make it slide. But it definitely has more grip than basic ice. Wow, it, I can't believe our stream is like this. What about a little dance number? Can you? What kind of dance would you like me to do? I don't know. Just a little side step. One foot balance. Let's see, go back over, walk back there and walk back towards me. Okay. All right, come on back. I would definitely not try this without these on my feet. I almost want to to show though. I know I might get hurt. I have two two new hips. I Maybe can't, I should do it. I can't risk my two new hips. Yeah, but these are the mediums. You need the larges. Well, no, you want to see how it works without crampons oh, at all, yeah, right? Yeah, you want to? Sure. I like them. They work good. I gotta say. I mean, we'll never really be walking on ice like that. No, they're good for like icy driveways yeah, and exactly and sidewalks, driveways. Press snow on top of it. No, see, you can't even, wow, yeah, there's no way. Big difference. Yeah, can I get off now? Yeah, do you need a hand? Nope, I got skills. Go that way, I'll meet you over there. Yeah. So these definitely, definitely make 
a huge difference. This is solid ice I'm on. Solid ice. This is definitely awesome. Walking solid ice, working good. All right. Awesome. My kids, we got them for them for Christmas and they love them. And they even used them on some short hiking trips and they were really happy with them. But what makes these really awesome is this strap that goes across the top. And that strap is key because the crampons do tend to fall off if they get stuck in the ice or the snow or you twist your foot somehow, they'll uh, slip off. So that keeps them from slipping off and that's really awesome. I also wanna talk about the size. I think they run pretty small, especially if you're gonna be putting them on some big hiking boots. Hiking boots or snow boots tend to be a little bulkier than regular boots. So I definitely say to order a size up. They say to order the small for the larger women's sizes, eight and a half, nines. And uh, that was, uh, they fit my daughter's hiking boots, but not that great. So I ordered the medium for me and a large for Richie. And uh, that this is a medium that's on these big boots. So definitely order a size up. It, it's, it definitely makes a difference. These are great so far. I'm gonna put the other one on my boot and uh, go walk in them.